What's up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here, and today we're unboxing the new Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty. And as you can see there, it's got the theme of Rogue One, with some sort of Stormtrooper there on the front. Um, so, I was going to say, hopefully we get some good stuff in this. But Smuggler's Bounty already ruined it by advertising what pops come in it, and so it's kind of boring. Um, but hopefully the other stuff will make up for it. So, first off, we have our pin and our patch. And so the pin is, I can't remember what its name is, but it's the robot... Um, C-3PO like character. I don't think it's, no it doesn't say on there. Um, I can't even, I know it has a K in it, but that's all I know. Um, but there's that. And then we have, come on, stuck to the box. The patch, which has another guy, again, I don't know what the, <laughs> his name is. So this is hard since the movie hasn't come out yet. We, um, don't know names very well and stuff. But anyway, there he is. And it says Rogue One on it as the theme. So now we will get into the box here. And so first up we have the shirt for the month. Which again, as you'd expect with the theme, it's got the Rogue One pop characters on it. There you can see that. And so they kind of did like, of course, the old classic um, uh, movie poster version. But with the new characters and stuff. And so it looks really awesome, but again, it is another Funko shirt, and they never ever fit properly. So that's a waste, but uh, looks really cool. I always like their designs, but again, they never fit. Um, so I will go ahead and start with the pops, since like I said, they already advertised them and um, ruined it or whatever. I hate when they do that. But first up, we have the Jin Urso, and of course, these are both uh, Smuggler's Bounty exclusives and stuff. And so um, there she is, and if you saw... Um, I did a unboxing of all the pops of the Rogue Ones, and uh, we had the regular version in there, and so she was just in a normal um, clothes and all this stuff, where this one she's got, as you can see, she has a helmet on, and then she's got some sort of cape on there and stuff with a gun, because I don't know if the other one had a gun or not, um, but it looks like she has a, ma a breather like thing on her chest and stuff like a ma to put on her mouth and everything, and it looks really cool. Um, with like the helmet and all that sort of stuff, but again, I don't really care much for the like reclose versions. Um, but that's what they decide to give us. And then the second pop is an Imperial Death Trooper, which again we already have one, um, and so this is just a different version. And they made just one small minor change to it. So instead of the gun in his hand, holding it like normal. He has a long gun, and it's um, over on the side of him, as you can see, like, right here and stuff. So that's the only difference, but, um, and I think this one also has the shoulder, it's hard to see, but, like, the shoulder pad thing of, like, the commander type or whatever. I don't know what you call them. Um, but, so, it well, again, it looks really cool, but nothing's changed besides a gun on the side here, really. So that is the two pops that they put in the box this month. And then the final item, which is a brand new thing that I've never seen before. So it's a Hikari Mini. So Hikaris are really um, expensive. Uh, well, they look just like this, but in a giant form. And um, as I said, they're like, I think a minimum, or they start out like $70. And of course, if they're rare and stuff like that, they go up in price. Um, but they're uh, like hollow. They, I don't know how to describe it. They're hollow. Um, but I've been told they could break easily, so that's why they're so expensive and stuff. Um, but this is a Darth Vader one, and it's mini, but it feels just like plastic, so it's like you can even like squeeze it and stuff. It's so soft. Um, but it looks really cool, and um, I hope they do more of these, because I really like the Hikaris, but as I said, they're expensive, so I don't have any of them. Um, but you have this Darth Vader here, and he's got all sorts of glitter inside of him, so he looks all like sparkly, and actually... From what I can see in the camera, it almost looks like stars and stuff. Like he has stars all over him. And it looks really cool. So that is it for the Smuggler's Bounty. Um, all the items. And again, this is, in case I didn't say, the mini Picari figure. And so that is all the items. And last up we have our card. Here with all the items. And so of course we have um, the Jin and the um, Death Trooper Pops. The shirt design, which of course they show like um, various sketches and stuff. The um, pin and the patch. And then down here it looks like that little Darth Vader. You could have got different colors. Um, like, into, like right in here. You could have got the different colors. So there, of course we got the black. There's blue, red, 
I'd say white or silver and gold. So that's really cool. Um, the, of course, the black looks most like Darth Vader. But any of them would have been cool to have. And then for next month, the theme is Empire Strikes Back. And they have a really cool item in there. It's a Tauntaun pop, or Han Solo on Tauntaun. So this is the first one. Um, I don't know if it says what it is. It doesn't. Um, but it's labeled as a certain thing. And this is supposedly the first one they've ever done. So as you can see, it's got like a giant base down here and stuff. And so that looks super awesome, and I cannot wait for it. It looks so cool. So that's going to be it for the Smuggler's Bounty this month. Um, be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed. Leave any comments you have down below. Hit the red subscribe button to check out all our unboxings, and we will see you next time.